All right, dude, we haven't done a musical instrument in a while, have we? Yeah. Should we do one? Yeah. What are we going to draw? A violin. All right, a violin. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude, you got your marker? Yeah. All right, we hope you got your marker too and a piece of paper. You're going to follow along with us. And what other musical instruments have we done? Um, a grand... Yeah, yeah, we've done a grand piano. Have we done any others? I think we've done a guitar. Yeah. yeah and so, and I think that's it. So, cool? Mm -hmm. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. So we're going to start with our paper vertical. vertical. What else? What, what's um, another way to describe? Portrait. The, yes, portrait. As if we were going to draw a picture of a, of a person. That's what portrait means, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got it positioned this way because we're going to draw the violin up and down. All right, we're going to start in the middle of our paper and we're going to draw... A line that goes horizontal and it's not too too long so start up here and then right in the so middle this way yes good job and then we're gonna come up here and we're gonna draw another line straight above but it's gonna be a little shorter good okay now we're gonna connect the top one to the bottom one On both sides. Good Look job. Here. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, now we're gonna make we're gonna put a little uh, rectangle up at the top. We could have made it all the way up there and then just. Oh, we could have. Yeah. Good job. Okay, now on on each side of that rectangle, we're gonna draw a little rectangle on both sides. Good, and then we're gonna draw another one, a really small one on that. You could just draw a top line. of that. Yeah, a line would work. Good <laughs> job. Okay, now I don't really know all. I don't know any of the names of a violin. I don't know anything about violin, and I didn't look it up. But we looked at the picture, right? So our friends that are drawing this, they can look up what all these names are. It's really easy to find online, but I didn't. I didn't take the time to do it. All right, so we're gonna draw these little guys on the side. And I should know what they are because we drew the guitar and I think they're the same name. But they're used, these are used to tune, tune. the violin. Okay. Because you can turn these and they kind of look like mushroom shapes. You can turn them with your fingers and this is to get a different sound to tune it. Yes. <laughs> you pretending to do it? Yeah. All right, so we want four on each side. We could go like this and then like... Yeah, that's a quick way to do it. Good, you got it. Flat. All right, so now we're going to come down here and we're going to draw another straight line and it's going to be about the same size as the one we first drew. We're going to draw the bottom part. We're going to start drawing the bottom part. Good. Okay, then I'm going to make these a little longer. We're gonna draw a little line that comes down. We don't wanna to go too far, but we're gonna draw two lines that start coming together at the bottom. Good. Okay, now in the middle, we're gonna draw a really thin rectangle. Awesome. Good job. Okay, now let's draw the outside of our violin. And then we're gonna bring all these shapes together, okay? okay? So we're gonna start not halfway, maybe a little bit further down. We're gonna start and we're gonna do two curved lines that come out, in, and then a little hook right at the end. Good job. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same on the other side and we, come, we want it to look symmetrical. And that means the same on both sides, which mine does not. <laughs> mine should probably come out a little further on this side. Hmm? Good job. And then do a little hook at the end. Good. Okay. Yours, yeah, you got really big hooks at the end, but that's okay. And then we're going to come back over here. Just making it thicker. No, I don't need to. It looks good, man. I like it. Okay. Now we're going to make a backwards C right here. And it's kind of a long C. Our violins are looking a little wider than I think they should be. They should be a little thinner. That's okay though. We'll practice. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same C except the other direction over here. 
Good. Okay, now we're going to come back around. So we can put little lines on here if we want. And then we're going to draw a U that goes all the way around. I'm going to run out of room to the other side over. Oops, I'm going to start over here. And then come down, finish it that way. Good. <laughs> you did it. Okay, now let's now they have a chin a chin pad right here because they rest their chin. Um, person playing the violin rests their chin right here on this on kind of a pad. Good job, you did it. Okay, now let's bring these lines and finish our violin into there. Finish the that part of the violin into the pad. Okay, should we put the strings on there? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna start up here and we're gonna draw, watch this. I'm gonna stay really close to the edge of the neck and then come through here and then down and then I'm gonna stop and put a little circle at the end. Good. Then I'm going to do another one right next to it. And it's going to get a little further spread apart in the middle. Yes. And do another one. How much? As much as you could fit? Nope, just four. I'm just going to do four. And the last one. Kind of got a little crooked. No, it's yours. <laughs> I like went off the page. That's all right. It looks Not good. went off the page. went off the violin. <laughs> I like it. Okay, now I'm. what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace. So we're going to trace the outside. Um, I'm going to actually do it on the inside. Here we go. I'm going to trace the inside of the violin. Right like this. Good, and then I'm going to do the other side too. Done. Good job, you beat me. Awesome. Okay, now we're going to put a little design right here, and it's an S. We're going to draw an S. So here we go. And it's a kind of a long S. And then we're going to do a backwards S on this side. And try and make them look the same. Good. Okay, and then on the each end of the S, we could make it a little, we could put a little curl in it and then color it in. All right, we're missing the bow. And that's the part that they use to, to uh, drag across the strings to make the music. Should we do it? Mm -hmm. Good job. All right, okay, so we're gonna draw a really long line. We're gonna go almost from the top to the bottom. And you drag your, if you drag your arm straight down, you can draw it without a ruler. Good. Okay, now I'm gonna draw another line right next to it, and you probably wanna draw on this side since you, you're kind of close to your violin, okay? So okay. here we go. I'm gonna draw another line right next to it. But I'm not going to go all the way down. I'm going to end before I get this one on yours. Drop past it. Yes, good job. Okay, now at the top, we're going to draw a curved line like that. And then a curved line down here. Okay, and then before you get, don't connect it. And then we'll draw another line that comes down and ends. Good. Okay, now we're gonna draw the wood part of the bow, and it's gonna we're gonna come back up here and draw a line that goes all the way, kind of traces the outside one, comes down, good, and then curls right at the end to finish it. We did it, man! We drew the bow. We drew the violin. Was that fun? That was awesome, huh? We should learn all the names now. I 
We can look it up online. We'll do a search on Google and find all the, all the different names to the different parts of the Bible. Is that cool? All right, you promised you had fun? Yeah. <laughs> we hope you guys had fun drawing your violins with us, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye, our friends.